hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long. And background color, I'm going to choose red color. Simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then press Ctrl N to create another composition. We are going to call it as Motion and hit OK. Now I'm going to select my text tool over here and i'm going to choose oswald font and i'm going to choose uh, let's say black color for this text and type our text i'm going to type motion like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this go to the character menu uh, and let's choose medium version of this and let's decrease the font uh, distance between this alphabet select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option properly and scale it somewhere around like this now press ctrl k to open the project settings and over here height i'm going to reduce the height somewhere around like this okay this looks good to me and simply hit okay like this press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this backward now select this motion and hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as design and hit okay double click to open this and change the text to design like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and uh, over here go to the character menu and we are going to decrease the distance between these alphabets so uh, it's going to be properly matched like this okay let's do this a little bit more let's check out whether they are proper or not let's increase a little bit again like this okay so now they are perfectly aligned now let's go to the main animation let's bring our motion text over here then this design text over here right click new and create one null object select bring select all of them and bring this at the uh, top and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's decrease the scale size over here select this design and let's simply bring this downwards like this select both of these layers let's make this fit and let's bring this over here okay select this motion go to the effect and presets panel and search for corner pin effect and simply double click to apply and create all keyframes on each and every layer go to the design apply this corner pin again and select all of this and apply the keyframes select both of them and hit u okay then zoom in let's go to around one second over here select this select this corner pin and now we will initially bring this handle over here and this handle downwards select this select this corner pin we will bring one point over here and one point over downwards like this okay so we will get something like this let's go to around two seconds we will bring this one downwards this one upwards over here so if you see we are getting this and this at this point other also create another keyframes on the remaining ones so, and go over here we will select this motion select this corner pin we will bring this one down and we will bring this one up 
like this so if you see we are getting something like this go to around over, go over here create all the keyframes go to around three second we will copy the first keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v now select those keyframes and hit f9 and hit n over here just for now so we can see what kind of animations we are getting now let's go to the graph editor we will select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so if you see we are gonna get something like this if you want then you can select this and you can do a little bit more okay go to the keyframe interpolation and current settings to linear let's say for example like this so we will get proper smoothness like this now go to the motion over here now as you guys know this animation is looping at three seconds so inside this also we need three second animation so let's go to around three second and hit n over here okay now let's select this motion press p for position create one keyframe go to around three second and this one should go out of this composition so zoom out a little bit and i'll move this over here totally out of this composition now go to the start select this motion hit ctrl d hit u and we will delete those keyframe select this and let's make it apparent with this motion let's make this fit okay select this let's uh, unlink this parenting so first we need to go over here and then select this text and let's make it apparent with this second one so if you see we are getting this kind of animation over here okay so this is one way or uh, another thing you can do instead of this let's for example delete this we can simply right click new and create one uh, adjustment layer over here and apply tint effect on it and swap these colors so we'll get something like this and initially let's move this over here press p for position create one keyframe go somewhere around over here let's delete those position keyframes go somewhere around over here we will select the adjustment layer go to the align tab align it uh, horizontally then go to around three second and we will move this out of this composition okay now select those keyframes and hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this, by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here. So if you see, we are going to get something like this. Okay. Then uh, alt click on the stopwatch and apply lookout expression on it like this. Select this uh, adjustment layer, hit ctrl C. Go to the design layer and hit Ctrl V, hit U, go to the start uh, and we will bring this over here. So if I see this stuff over here, I will get this kind of animation in the form of loop. Okay. And uh, you can uh, move this a little bit over here also. So you will get a little bit alternations in their animation as well. Like this. Okay, let's make this fit. Now select both of those layers, so press Ctrl Shift C and let's call it as animation and hit OK. Like this. Go inside this press ctrl k to open the project settings and over here we are going to reduce the width until unless it's going to touch the edge of this composition also height
and simply hit OK. And now go to the effect and presets panel and search for CC reptile effect and double click to apply and increase the hand uh, expand right, uh, expand left, expand down and expand up and tilling repeat i'm going to choose let's say brick so if you see we will get this kind of stuff or uh, you can choose uh, different also for example twist let's say as you guys can see we are getting this kind of uh, patterns or let's say random and you can play around with this so you can see this type of choose is going to fit I'm going to go with the brick this looks good and suppose if you want a little bit gap in between so what you can do uh, you can select this null object over here press s and you can decrease the size of this up to this so what will happen you will get a little bit gap and you can press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this backwards select this animation and go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply then increase the distance to 20 softness to 100 uh, uh, opacity 25 let's increase the distance somewhere around like this so if you see this now we are going to get this kind of animation inside of after effects